Beyond football, once again, uh, your original starting quarterback this season, Grayson McCall, phenomenal at Coastal Carolina, had his moments for you. Recently opted to retire from the game of football after his repeated injuries. I guess some of them you would say literally to his brain, essentially. What was your advice to Grayson? Uh, were you involved with the family in those conversations? And how do you address those sorts of scary issues with all of your other players? Yeah, well, when this uh, latest injury took place, you know, I told Grayson, what do you need? And just tell me how I can support you in this. And, uh, you know, we had that conversation. It's private. I'm not going to get into all the things that were said. And it's more being in the support lane at that point in time. Same with his family. And uh, we're there for them. Our medical teams are there for them. It's whatever they need from us, not just in the decision, but after the decision and what comes next. And I have nothing but love and respect for him and understand the decision that was made and believe in what they've decided to do and, and we'll support him and whatever his next endeavors are. Uh, he's talked about wanting to coach and he'll be a hell of a football coach. If that's the lane he ends up in, he's a great, great young man. Uh, have really enjoyed not just coaching him, but getting to know him and his family and, I'm just glad he's okay, you know, more than anything. It was a scary play. It really was. And in 30 years of coaching, I'm not sure I've been more rattled after a play than that one. Watching, you know, a helmet come off of contact to the head with no helmet on, it was the last thing you want to be a part of. So the fact that he was able to be sitting up in the hospital cracking jokes to me later in that day when I went to visit him, you know, God's definitely protecting that young man. And like I told him, you know, his path has got other things in it outside of contact now, and he can go be an incredible mentor, you know, in whatever way he chooses as a coach, whether it's the college level, the high school level, or the pro level, he's going to be an asset to a program.